Hello everyone and welcome to another video about real estate. I'm Enrique Mathieu, the Ottawa Frenchman, realtor in Ottawa. I have a lot of people asking me if there's still good real estate investment opportunities in Ottawa. Well, yes there is, but sometimes the price point makes it difficult for people to make the jump. And not everyone wants to manage a whole other property. For those looking for something cheaper, there's something fairly new in Ottawa that will definitely have a big impact on the city landscape in the next decade, and it's the coach houses. Either you're looking for an investment opportunity or to help your kids get their own place or to help your parent enjoy their retirement, Coach Houses just might be the solution you were waiting for. And this week, we're exploring the uses and benefits of that new movement. So basically a coach house is a detached residential unit that is built on the same lot as a pre-existing home or is built from a previously standing building. For example, a detached garage. It is a permanent structure that has a foundation along with gas and electricity services, sewage, water, and it must conform to the Ontario Building Code. You need to know that there are also laneway houses that are pretty much the same thing, but open onto the back lane instead. It's pretty simple. Since they're not really present in Ottawa, I'll focus this video on coach houses. But just know that they're gaining massive popularity in pretty much every major city, like in Toronto. So coach houses, why would someone build this in their backyard? Well, the first and most obvious answer would be extra income. Having a second little house that you can rent without having to share your main residence is something that resonates with people. Even with separate entrances, you still know that someone is in your house. You still have to be careful with your footsteps, the TV volume, share walls, etc. Now you get to enjoy peace and quiet and extra rent money. The second less obvious reason why people would build this is to offer budget-friendly options to their kids or aging parents. A lot of people in younger generation cannot afford to buy a property in Ottawa because of the very high prices, uh, but it doesn't mean they don't want some independence. And let's face it, I think mom and dad wouldn't mind having some privacy again. Having this in your backyard can allow everyone to have their own space without breaking the bank. Same goes for aging parents. Grandma and grandpa don't need a house with four bedrooms and stairs. What they need is to be closer to their family, have a smaller, modern, comfortable space, and use their income to enjoy their retirement. They can save a lot of money by reducing their overall homeownership costs. And just a word of advice, before proposing this to your mom, maybe talk to your husband first. Another benefit of this is the added value to your property. When selling your property, it now comes with a secondary residence that can potentially bring more income. It allows you to appeal to a whole other group of buyers, investors. And investors do not buy properties with the same emotions as, as normal buyers. It's all about numbers and a good investment property usually fly off the shelves. One important thing to know is that the coach house cannot be sold independently of the main residence. It's all good, but before coach houses became a reality, they had to be approved by the city first. It was a uphill battle and a lot of negotiation between residents and experts, but ultimately the city saw the potential in the project. They got to increase affordable housing discreetly to no cost to them, and they get more tax money out of it. Densification is crucial for a good function in the city. I know not everyone is happy about this, but when a city grows, it needs to get more dense. It can't just spread out indefinitely. It's particularly true in neighborhoods that were built strictly with detached homes rather than a mix of apartment buildings and singles. Vanier is a prime example of this. Almost every detached sold in an area that has a proper zoning gets converted into a duplex, triplex, fourplex, etc. And of course, like everything involving one form of government or another, there's a long list of rules to abide by to see if you're eligible to have a coach house on your property. And then you get to deal with the regulation for the project itself, which are extensive. I'll walk you through the main rules that you ought to know. So number one, if you meet your city's requirement to build a coach house, there are some size restrictions that you must adhere to. Number two, we want to minimize the impact on the neighborhood. So the units are not allowed to be bigger than 40% of the square footage of the main building. In urban areas, coach houses aren't allowed to be more than one story and no rooftop patios. Number three, along with size limits, some of the other rules require that water and other services to the couch house be connected to the services of the main house. A building permit would also be required. Number four, you cannot have a secondary dwelling in your home in addition to the coach house. It's one or the other. Number five, like I told you, once the coach house has been built, you cannot sell it separately from your main house. This is because it means access to a public road. Number six, if you have mature trees on your property, these must remain intact and preserved. Number seven, you don't need to create additional parking and parking in tandem in the existing driveway is permitted. And number eight, it is not allowed in Rockcliffe Park. Surprisingly enough, the Neighborhood Residents Association were very vocal against the project. They say that the neighborhood is an heritage conservation district and needs to be protected from more development. Sounds more to me like they don't want to mingle with peasants, but whatever, there's plenty other spaces to build them. So it does sound amazing, right? 
Well, there is some drawback to this. First, electricity, gas, and insurance costs will shoot up, as well as municipal taxes. Secondly, well, someone is living in your backyard. So if you're big on patio parties, it might not be the best fit for you. But if you have a massive backyard, then it's probably fine. And with a bigger backyard, you can also build a much bigger coach house and get more rent out of it. And third, the price. Obviously, it's not free, and the cost of building a coach house ranges between $200 and $300 per square foot. This means that if you were to build a 500 square foot coach house, you would end up spending around $100 to $150,000. But like every other piece of real estate, you can go completely off the rails with finishes and materials and end up building something ridiculously expensive. So moderation is advised. So although it's definitely not for everyone, it might open the door to real estate investment to more people. It could also be a solution to help family members move out or downsize. Affordable housing becomes harder and harder to come by in Ottawa and coach houses just might be the solution we were looking for. Now, if any of this resonates with you and you want to know more, I work closely with those builders in Ottawa, so just email or call me and we'll get you started. It is literally my job to help you with this. Next week, I will tour an actual coach home so you get to see what this is all about. If you enjoyed this video, I got plenty more content like this on my channel and I'm posting every week. So I suggest that you subscribe and hit the bell to make sure that you're not missing anything. Also, a quick like really helps me reach out to other homeowners and help them as well. Thank you everyone for watching. I will see you next Thursday. Have an amazing week. Enrique out.